live and alert on the north side of the dirt. It is your man D Real coming at you with another Be Real with D Real, where entertainment is what I do. It's time. But at part three of that three-part story arc. But before we get into that three-part story arc, I want y'all to do what y'all always do for me. Comment, like, subscribe, and share to the Be Real with D-Real page so that you can get new alerts when new stuff comes out. Like this new stuff right here. Marvel team up number 64, Spider-Man and the Daughters of the dragon hello showdown was still serpent iron fist in the background looking pitiful let's get into it if death be my destiny chris claremont john burn i like that, that 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 poster that's on the wall it's about 20 minutes this is colleen wing and, and uh, uh uh her apartment and the situation's great how grave is the situation? Colleen Wing got a mushroom haircut. Okay, cool. And now they're trying to tell him what's going on. That 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 without the iron fist, potentially iron fist could die. Meanwhile, Misty and Danny are reconciling and 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 they're talking and I can't hate you, Danny. I love you. I need you. I love you too. Ah, look at that. Interracial relationships in 1977. How come nobody ever said anything about this relationship? How come they weren't upset about it? It's just a man and a woman. That's how it's supposed to be. I wonder why it's never like that in real life, though. And he explains. She like, hey, 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 get your feet, get your feet, get your feet off my carpet. Spider-Man like, all right. Why don't you looking at my toes? I ain't mad at you, Spidey. Misty say he's sleeping, but he's slipping away. We got to go find that steel serpent dude, knock him out and bring him back here and make him give Danny the Iron Fist back. That's a tall order. Y'all think y'all gonna be able to find him? Y'all ain't gonna have to find him. He looking for y'all. Like once I've slain Iron Fist, it'll be mine for all time. I'll have the power. I'll have the power. Hmm. Yeah, I guess he would, wouldn't he? And then we find out that this cat is the firstborn son of Lee Kung, the Thunderer. The cat who trained Iron Fist to be Iron Fist. Maybe that is why he feels like he too should be the Iron Fist. And he keeps telling him, son, this can be your outfit. This can be you. You can become the living weapon of Kun Lun. And he thinks he's gonna. Until in front of the August personage in Jade, UT, Davos, and Danny square off. And he beats Davos. But Davos doesn't want to yield. The Yama kings don't want to see a warrior of Kun Lun beaten to a pulp because his pride won't let him admit defeat. This is done. He didn't like it, though. He wanted it to be to the death. His daddy trying to tell him, shut up. Don't be talking crazy to the, to the August personage. He like, man, if the August personage. I'm out. And he went and became Davos, the, the I'm going to challenge the dragon on my own fella. And the dragon came out like, yeah, you want some? No, nope, he didn't really want none. And the dragon saw him and he grabbed the dragon. 
but he couldn't hang on. So he let go because the pain was too great. So all he got out of it was a snake tattoo, not a dragon one, because he didn't hang on to get his wings, literally and figuratively. Everybody looking at him like, you fool. What did you go out and do that anyway? I'm sorry, that's not Danny he had a fight with. That's Danny's father that he had a fight with. Sorry about that, guys. That's Wendell Rand, not Danny Rand. And Wendell didn't become the Iron Fist. But now he's ranting and raving at the world, okay? I forget you kings, forget my daddy, forget all of y'all. I'm getting ready to be the one and only Iron Fist, period. Spider-Man like, hey, 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 stop making all that noise, dude. Get over here. Whoop. Spider-Man, you pulling your punches. That, that, that's that's going to be a problem. See what I'm saying? Cat just tossed you on your back, made you look stupid. You're supposed to be Spider-Man, dude. Tossed you off a roof, but that ain't nothing for Spider-Man. Spider-Man, you know, look, at, look how he weathers that. This is what I do when people throw me off roofs. I bank off the street, bank off the sides of walls and land on the street unscathed until... He climbed down very quietly. I don't know why his spider sense didn't warn him. Wait a minute, it did. He rolled with the kick. I like that. And got back up and was like, stick it up your forbidden city, punk. He took a straight hit from Spider-Man. Let's bear that in mind. Spider-Man clocked him. Besides martial skill and the Iron Fist, Steel Serpent is a normal human guy. He took a shot from Spider-Man. Even Spidey pulling his punches is enough to knock an average human out. So I don't know. Maybe people from Kunlun are a little more hardier stock than the average human. I'm trying to help them out. See, this kind of incongruency has occurred through throughout comics but you know some people point it out for what it is other people try to turn it into canon but that is a story for another video uh-oh that's a black hand so we know who that is uh-huh she gave him the bionic slam wow and colleen with her mushroom cuts coming in but she keeping it, she's keeping it, she's keeping her sword scabbarded. Nah, you should have went on ahead and cut him, Colleen. Because it's gonna take more than a than a than a boken, <laughs> than a wooden sword, than a scabbarded sword to put down the steel serpent. And like I said, there they go, getting handled. Wait a minute, Spider-Man, what are you doing? You got her pimp slapped. See, Spidey, you're not helping. You causing more problems than you solving. And he said, bye, daughters of the dragon. With an ally like Spider-Man, you don't need no enemies. Man, see, Spider-Man ain't into this martial arts stuff. He need to back up. Stay in his lane. Like he heading for the park. Like we can't let him lose us in the park. And he's commenting on how well the daughters of the dragon handle themselves in a fight. But of course, Peter, they are the daughters of the dragon. Caught up with him. Blah! Slow down, sir. B. We still got some stuff to talk about. Huh. Yeah, a fraction slower, and you would have been spider mush. Still popping him. Got some hammer. Again, 
Landon shots. Normal guy. He should be asleep. Perhaps he has used the iron fist to enhance his endurance. Let's go with that. Uh-oh. Batter up. And he about to come at you with some heat, too. Oh, look, his iron fist has the Kirby crackle around it. It's like you are trapped, homie. I am about to pound you into spider juice. He's right. I can't jump the fence from this angle. And if I try to climb it, he'll smash the whole thing down. I have to wait till the last second and duck his punch. Mm, that may not be necessary, Spidey. Iron Fist is up and around. He says, you ain't going to do nothing to Spider-Man until you finish me off. Like, man, bump all that talk. Again, a third time, Steel Serpent is hit by a man who, can, who has strength that enables him to lift at least, at this point in time in his career, 10 tons. That should be more than enough strength to knock out a normal human guy. But ironically, for some reason, I guess it's because Chris Claremont and John Byron want this story to end with Iron Fist. So Spidey gets knocked out. And now Steel Serpent's going after him. Blah! Blah! He's missing. Like, we gotta get in there and help him. And Colleen's like, nope, we are not helping. He's gotta do this on his own. And he's starting to glow from the Iron Fist, and it's a sheer force of will. And what he's trying to explain is when you lose your concentration while you got the iron fist activated, it could consume you, which is what's happening with Davos. And so while he's getting consumed by the iron fist, Danny has decided, oh, I got to go grab him and, 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 and get the iron fist back. She cow. I like that sound effect. Danny. Misty. And there is an interracial kiss. Hooray! I like to see interracial kisses. Um, I will do a video on one of the first interracial kisses coming up soon. Stay tuned. Um, it appears that Davos has been disintegrated by the power of the Iron Fist. But later on, we find out in, in, in subsequent Iron Fist issues that, that Davos the Steel Serpent is very well alive and kicking and is back to, in, in later comics, give Iron Fist all the hell he needs. And that, ladies and germs, is that. So, what did you think about that three-part story arc featuring Iron Fist. Drop it in the comments. And as always, I will be coming at y'all with another one of them other ones. And until I do, yeah, y'all be good. Be good to each other.